Hey there guys, and welcome to my first set of AS Level Maths Statistics exam questions. Here we are doing binomial distribution, which is very important if you want to get those top marks. Let's go! Okay now, to help you answer these questions, I've made two revision pages on binomial distribution. So this first one highlights the points you need to be able to use a binomial distribution. Very important in answering these questions, as we will see. And the second page, how to use your calculator to find different types of probability. Download the questions from below and you also get these two pages. Alright, enough jibber jabber, let's go. Okay then, first up, Nicola, a darts player, is practicing hitting the bullseye. She knows from previous experience she has a probability of 0.3 of hitting the bullseye with each dart. She throws 8 practice darts. Part A. Using a binomial distribution, calculate the probability she hits the bullseye three or more times. Okay, so let's set up the distribution. So it's only two marks, so we don't really need to worry about defining the variable. So let's just use x. So x is binomially distributed. Now n is 8 and p is 0 0.3. Now we want the probability of hitting the bullseye 3 or more times. So that's probability x is greater than or equal to 3. Now, our calculators always sum the probabilities from the left up to the value of x. Here though, we want to the right of our value of x. So, what we need to do is 1 minus what we don't want. So, what we don't want is the probability x is less than or equal to 2. Okay, now use your calculator to get that probability and we should get 0.552 so we have 1 minus 0.552 and then that finally gives us 0.448 With probabilities, it's always a good idea to go to three sig figs. Okay, number two. Ellie read in a newspaper article that 20% of students eat five portions of fruit and veg every day. She suggests that the number of people eating at least five portions in a sample of size n can be modelled by the binomial distribution n 0.2. If there are 10 people in Ellie's class, using the distributional model suggested by Ellie, find the probability that of the students in her class, first up, two or fewer eat at least five portions every day. Okay, so we need to define the distribution. 
So let's just to use X again. So X is binomially distributed. This time N is 10 and P is 0 0.2. Now we want the probability x is less than or equal to 2 So use your calculator we should get 0 0.678 Okay then part 2 wants the probability that at least one but fewer than four eat at least five portions every day. So let's think about that. We want at least one but fewer than four. So we want the probability that x is greater than or equal to one but less than 4. So, for x to be less than 4, we want 3, 2, 1, and 0. So that's the probability x is less than or equal to 3. But x has to be at least 1, so it can't be 0. So we subtract the probability x equals 0. Okay, so the probability x is less than or equal to 3 you should get as uh, 0 0.879 and the probability x equals 0 is 0 0.107 And that gives us a final answer, 0 0.772. In next up, we have a nice quick one. So the discrete random variable x is binomially distributed with n as 40 and p as 0 0.27. Find the probability x is greater than or equal to 16. Okay, so again, this is wanting the probability uh, to the right and including x. The calculator works out probabilities from the left up to the value of x. So if we want x being 16, 17, 18, etc. We don't want x being 15, 14, 13, etc. So we need to work out the probability of 1 minus the probability x is less than or equal to 15. Now that is going to give us 1 minus 0 0.949 which then gives us 0, 0.0 Five one. Okay, next up 
The Seer is playing a game with two friends. The game is designed to be a game of chance, so that the probability the Seer wins is one third. The Seer and his friends play the game 15 times. We want to find the probability that the Seer wins exactly two times and then more than five times. So this is three marks to do two things. So it would be a good idea here to explicitly define the variable. So let's just use x again. So we can start by saying let x be the number of games Uh, that Nasia wins. Okay, then we can set up the distribution. So X is binomially distributed, N is 15. P is one third. Okay then, so part one. We want the probability X is two. Now use your calculator for this. We want binomial P D. And we should get 0.0599. Okay, then for part two. So this time we want the probability x is greater than 5. So we don't want five, four, three, two, one, zero. So we need to do one minus the probability x is less than or equal to five. Now the probability x is less than root 5 uh, is 0 0.618. So our final answer is 0 0.382. Okay then, final question, a boo visits his local hardware store to buy six light bulbs. He knows 15% of the bulbs at this store are faulty. But a state a distribution which can be used to model the number of faulty bulbs he buys. Okay, so maybe we should start by saying let X uh, be the number of faulty bombs. Then X can be binomially distributed because a bulb is either faulty or not faulty. Now he's going to buy six. And 15% is 0 0.15. Okay then, part B wants us to find the probability all the bulbs he buys are faulty. So for that, 
we are finding the probability x equals 6. Now to 3 sig figs, you should get 1.14. Times ten to the minus five. Which is zero point zero 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 one one four. Okay then, but C wants the probability at at least two of the bulbs in values are faulty. So at least two is the probability X is greater than or equal to two. So because that's to the right of to again we need to think about what we don't want so we don't want one and zero so this is one minus the probability x is less than or equal to one Now that then is 1 uh, minus 0 0.776 uh, which gives us 0 0.224 Okay, then but D wants us to find the mean of the distribution stated in part A. So you are given uh, the mean in your formula booklets. The mean is just NP. So here that's 6 times 0 0.15 Uh, which is 0 0.9. And on the final part, we want to state two necessary assumptions in context so that the distribution from part A is valid. So, the probability of a light bulb being faulty must be independent of any other light bulb and the probability that a light bulb is faulty must be fixed at 0 0.15. Okay then guys, that's all I have on binomial distribution for now. Really hope you found it useful. Next up in statistics, I'm going to do statistical hypothesis testing. It's going to be a good time. Hope to see you there. For now, take it easy. Take care.